Bitcoin breaks through an all-time high. And do we go into price discovery now? Well, in this video, we are going to delve into that beautiful content, guys. So do not miss out on one single second of this because there is a lot to share with you, a lot to give you guys. Um, I'm going to make it as quick as possible. I've got plenty of meetings to do, but I had to get this video out for you because of yesterday. I couldn't uh, get you guys. We had a lot of issues there. There's water issues, electricity issues around South Africa, guys. Uh, you'd expect a place, a country to be running somewhat smoothly, but that isn't the case. Anyways, on the brighter side of life, Bitcoin is pumping through new all-time highs. We're seeing the Morales money bubbles going absolutely ballistic here. Um, so guys, uh, we might actually look at a potential near trade for a long and maybe a mantle. But yeah, I mean, look at all these others here. Not much pumps, but quite a lot of dumps. So, you know, catch your trades on the dumps, but of course, make sure that the dumps aren't continuing. So just be very careful. We'll have a look at that in a short little moment. The cryptocurrency market cap today is currently sitting at 2.67, uh, 6.37 trillion, up still 0.7% even after yesterday's crazy little dip. Guys, I've never seen the trading volume this high in, in my entire time in the cryptocurrency market cap. Um, $322 billion of trading volumes come into the market. That is absolutely flipping epic. Epic. 90 billion of that is Bitcoin. 52 billion of that is Ethereum. And Tether literally doubled uh, its value. We literally have Tether at 171 billion trading volume. Um, but we have a hundred and one uh, billion dollar market cap. So BNB is up now at 60, 64, 65 trillion, 64 trillion, oh, 64 billion dollars. Solana's at 59 billion. Cardano's at 26 billion. Dogecoin is at 24 billion. Shiba Inu is at uh, 22 billion, guys. I mean, Shiba Inu is down at 22. I mean, Shiba Inu literally ran past Polygon, Uni, Chainlink, Tron, Polkadot. And AVAX, guys, that's very scary. I mean, two meme coins, guys, that is epic. That's where I say to you guys, you know, you need to see what's going on in the market and what is actually happening out there. So, with that being said, most of the top coins on the Morales Bunny um, uh, bubbles you can see are either, you know, pumping or having a bit of a dump. So, the Fear and Greed Index today, excuse me, guys, oxygen. Too hot, it's too hot in my office, even with a fan and an aircon. Greed is now sitting at 75, and extreme greed yesterday was all the way up at 90. I've never seen it up at 90 as well, uh, but it dropped all the way back down to 75 today, which is very, very interesting, obviously, because we had that crazy drop in the markets. Now, Bitcoin will surprise people to the upside, says veteran trader Tone Bays. We'll have a look at his article in a short moment. But trader predicts breakout rally for under the radar altcoin, says Cardano uptrend is looking healthy. So we'll have a look at that as well, because I actually got out all of my trades yesterday, even though it was a flick out. I got all out all of my trades and I took profit, guys, because you just don't know what's going on. And the point of trading is to take profit. So, you know, if you're not taking profit, then you can't. But I never exited my Bitcoin trade and nor did I ex even take any profits uh, the last couple of days. Um, so we will see where we go from here. But I do agree that we are oxygen, that we are needing some better, um, uh, some pump to the upside. Binance discontinues all services for Nigeria, Naira, after employees detained by government and threatened with a fine. Here's how long the current Bitcoin bull market could last, according to closely followed crypto analysts. We'll have a look at that. Bitcoin will double the market cap of gold after running much higher past all-time highs, says Anthony Pompliano. I'm going to have a little bit of a look at his video in a moment, but Solana-based meme coin that's up 13,370 since November continues explosive rally after Binance listing. I don't know what that coin is, but uh, yesterday, basically $680 billion in liquidations, hammer Bitcoin bulls as BTC hits new all-time high and then drops. So we hit the high and then we drop. So we'll talk about that because it wasn't that much past the all-time high, but it is still a new all-time high. Now, according to Tone Vase, um, he believes that we're going to the upside. What does it mean now that we have the ETFs? It means that we are likely going higher than anticipated. We could make the bull market go longer than anticipated. 
uh, or the most beautiful combination of all, we go higher and longer. Uh, it's going to be obviously one of those three. So once we break, once we break 84 to 85k, even if we break it next week. I think it's going to be very difficult for Bitcoin to ever go below 65,000 again. I have also spoken about that on my channel. And if you guys were subscribed to my channel, you guys would know that, that I said that to you on my videos over here, all of these videos, these last videos, I have been saying that. And then if you were with me on my live show on Monday evenings, you guys would have heard that one as well. But uh, that was my live stream there. Go check it out, guys. It was a lot of really good information in there and a lot of people did enjoy that video so go check that video out um, but let's jump straight back to tone vase because i think bitcoin is going to surprise people to the upside because all of those people who were wrong last time about bitcoin going to 250 or 300 this time uh those seem to be the reasonable predictions 200 250 to 300k now, i've been saying to you guys that i think bitcoin can hit between 285 and 300 i think that's a reasonable uh, smash through so um, yeah I don't know about you but I don't see why we couldn't hit that now according to stock money lizard mentally prepare yourself for this ignore the noise and stick to the plan you know where we are going because this was 2016 to 2017 bull market this is 2024 bull market currently we literally have only had like these small little things yeah we haven't had any real corrections yet of 30 i mean look at the average 40 percent, 35 to 40 percent is the average um so this was right all the time you know we literally are going to go and continue up guys that's just the way that bitcoin works so here's how long the current bitcoin bull market could last according to the following crypto analysts so uh, according to tech dev spacing between blue and red dots has always been 9 to 11 bars do with the, that what you will so the spacing between the blue and the red is always 9 to 11 bars. So 9 to 11, 9 to 11, 9 to 11, 9 to 11 9, and so on and so forth. Now we have only hit the blue bar and the blue, the blue dot, sorry, and the blue dot is only opening up. So the blue dot is your, you know, your last pretty much buying opportunity at the very last. And then your red dot is your, your supreme high. And that is essentially your absolute last, um, selling opportunity so you know when that does hit so tech dev uses a six-week chart meaning this indicator suggests that bitcoin will probably hit its top between january and march of 2025 well like um tone beige was saying maybe this is a combination bull cycle where we could go longer and harder um uh longer and higher for this period of time so you know, we could see that. We could see what's happening. And that's just what it is, guys. So, you know, the Chinese are printing. Uh, if you're looking here, boom, breakout, boom, breakout, boom, breakout. We're getting there on this breakout of the all time high, guys. So, things are happening for us here. Trader predicts breakout rally for under the radar. Altcoin says ADA looks healthy. So, guys, I actually got out of my ADA trade. So GMX is forming an inverse head and shoulders pattern on the daily chart. A sustained daily candle stick above, close above the 60 could trigger a 48.50 bullish breakout that says GMX towards 90, um, which is all the way around here. Uh, so inverse, so shoulder, head, and then you could, I would say, maybe buy back here at the 51 level before that. 51 maybe even up to the 45 level before a breakout up to the chart so you know that is what is happening the uptrend in cardano appears healthy you can see there there's a notable rise in daily activity addresses transaction volume and transactions from ada whales this increasing activity signifies strong network engagement and investor interest positive indicators for continued growth over 500,000 btc have been transferred transacted in the range of 61,000 what 61,100 to 61,800, creating a substantial support area. If Bitcoin remains above the threshold, it's poised to climb towards 65,900, which it's already reached today, um, even after yesterday's bump. It's, that was a bump and run, guys. Given the minimal um, resistance ahead, 
Conversely, BTC should dip below support or correction could lead it down to 56,970 or even 51,500. You'll see where I've set up some of my buy limit orders on Bitcoin in case that does happen. Do I think it's going to happen? Not quite. Um, so we'll just have to take a look at all of that. Now, before I go into the charting, guys, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. I have my Bybit and my Bitflex link. Bybit will give you up to $30,000 deposit bonus and Bitflex will give you uh, $88,888 bonus together, $128,888. And you guys can go and trade some crazy beasts. Now, I got stopped out of my uh, XRP trade on my Bitflex account because it wicked out yesterday when we had that drop. Um, and then the rest of my trades, I took profits on most of them. I did lose a couple of them because I entered into a few yesterday and the market dropped. So smash me out. So you can't win everything. And that's the point. Don't over trade either. Even though right now you can literally, like if you guys watch my videos, you guys can shoot in the dark and get some crazy gains. But don't be that person. Don't be that person. Now, the Tether co-founder has something to say to us. Um, and so does uh, Mr. Anthony Pompliano. So let's go and listen to what um, the Tether co-founder actually has to say here. With this, William, it's good to see you again. I wonder, I mean, this is another story where there is arguments on the speculative side, but also on fundamental analysis of at least money flows. Yeah, I, I agree. If you look at where we are pre having that's going to happen in April, where Bitcoin's reward for miners drops by half. If we look at where we are Versus the last one, I'd say, which happened four years ago, we're in better shape. You know, obviously we didn't have the ETFs back then. Um, if you look at things like derivative volume, it was nascent four years ago. Now very high. We've just hit a record. Um, and the ETF flows have actually surprised me. I was, I was a little skeptical that they would take off quickly. And now we have close to, I want to say, $50 billion. It's about 740,000 Bitcoin held in these ETFs. I hope you guys heard that. About half a million Bitcoin um, held, about 750,000 of these Bitcoin are held in the ETFs already. Guys, we've only been trading for like 45, 50 days already. As you can see here, Bitcoin uh, and Ether, in 2020 had their bear market lost 25 and 39 percent that year 21 gained 30 22 gained 5 23 is already gained uh or gained 23 although 23 was actually um oh sorry this is performance during march so bitcoin and ether performance during march guys these coins and as you can see bitcoin is the king daddy it's the king daddy of crypto daily we're getting between 150 million up to 500 million dollars flowing in so there's a lot of positive forces that are pushing bitcoin up right now and this is before the happening which is usually after that fact when bitcoin really skyrockets how do you describe to viewers the mix of institutional versus retail interest vis-a-vis uh, -vis, say prior rallies oh anything from like pre-2020, there was very little institutional interest. Not very little. The institutions actually had to buy shares in companies like Coinbase and ARK and all kinds of other investment companies that actually um, were buying Bitcoin. Um, you know, like MicroStrategy was buying Bitcoin. He's an institution. They've been buying Bitcoin for three and a half, four years. There are institutions that have been in here for a very long time. The institution flood tsunami came in when Bitcoin ETF spot was proved, approved on the 11th of January this year, the 10th of January this year. So guys, that is very, very much the indication that we have literally just seen since the ETF launch, we have pretty much doubled in price already because of institutional investments. In, in Bitcoin. It was a retail driven, globally retail driven phenomenon. That's previously, of course. And now I would say there is a lot of uh, institutional money 
that tracks it. It's also why you see such interest in derivatives. Uh, the the volatility in Bitcoin, I think, is one thing that really attracts a lot of institutional investors. And you have to understand that, you know, Bitcoin is maybe the only globally traded asset that I know of whose demand is purely based on sentiment. You know, there's not a Bitcoin company. There isn't Bitcoin. Uh, uh, there's not a Bitcoin company. And he's trying to say that Bitcoin is decentralized, running off nodes and mining rigs across the world. That is how Bitcoin is supported. And because Bitcoin has intrinsic value and is going to surpass digital, is going to surpass the value of gold's market cap at some point, those are the most important key factors that you need to listen in on. Now, what does that actually mean for us, guys? Well, first of all, um, MicroStrategy is one of those institutions that pretty much has changed the entire mandate of their company to be a Bitcoin investing and holding company. So it's not entirely correct here. Price but... earning ratios, it's just a sentiment driven token. And um, what you can say about that, of course, is that sentiment has no limits. Uh, you can always be more optimistic. Year to date, we're up nearly 200%. And so this rally may be the biggest we've seen. If we just look at where we stand today, pre happening for Bitcoin, and look at historical patterns, that would suggest, and I'm not predicting this, I'm just saying if you applied the historical patterns, it would suggest Bitcoin being in excess of $300,000 at the peak of this next bull market. And since all tokens are correlated to Bitcoin, that means that all the other tokens like Ethereum and Solana and some of these others will move up in lockstep. Those, however, usually move higher, um, directionally the same, but since they have a lower market cap, they tend to move up uh, uh, to a greater degree. All the other market caps, because their market caps are all a bunch lower than Bitcoin's. I mean, Bitcoin is the only one sitting up at $1.3 trillion, right? So all the other market caps, I mean, even Ethereum, Ethereum kind of is like 3x lower than Bitcoin. But if you start looking at just like BNB, I mean, BNB is 64 billion, Solana is 58 billion. These things can start to jump up and get up to this level when we start seeing Bitcoin at like eight to $10 trillion. Now guys, if you've been watching my channel, um, I've been telling you guys about eight to $10 trillion market cap on Bitcoin coming soon. So let's go see what Mr. Ant as recently spot ETFs are now becoming more mainstream and yeah. it, how long has it been? Has it been two months? It started start maybe a little bit slow, but then it's been like kind of a rocket ship. If you look over the last 60 days and in the next 60 days, I think there's two big stories. The ETF approvals obviously were a huge deal. Uh, BlackRock alone has $11 billion in their ETF. They added a billion dollars just in the last day. And so these are massive inflows for just one fund. There's 11 of them. And so obviously there's tons of money coming in, about 12 times more demand for Bitcoin than what the network is producing every single day. But also, as we near this record high, if we go back and we look at past record high breaks, or if we eclipse the old all-time high, three of the four times Bitcoin doubled in 18 days or less. And so if you think about that for a second, once you break through and all- Did you guys hear that? And he's about to explain it. But Bitcoin breaks through when Bitcoin breaks through its previous all-time high, it literally doubles within 18 days. That's less than one month that it doubles. 18 days, guys. Okay, so when Bitcoin broke its all-time high yesterday, we should be expecting in a plus minus about 18 days from yesterday, a double price of Bitcoin. Bitcoin is currently sitting at like 66 and a half thousand, guys. That's $123,000 Bitcoin in the next 18 days before the halving all-time high is price discovery what, what is this thing worth the world is going to try to figure that out and three of the last four times in 18 days or less it doubled in price you add in the fact that we have the halving coming and we're gonna go from 900 bitcoin a day coming into the supply to 450 and it's very hard to make an argument that bitcoin is not going much higher and at a faster pace than we all expected i mean when you do the math i, I feel like i need to to say that past much higher much faster results are not indicative necessarily of the future because it just sound you sound so i mean it just sounds that anyone at home would would 
you know, if they're totally new at this game, they, they might mortgage their house and put it all in Bitcoin. And, and there's there, there is still risk in the asset. Is there not? I, I definitely don't think that they should do that. Right. It, uh, if you go and you ask most people in the Bitcoin world, they will tell you higher percentages than you would expect right. in terms of what they've put in. But I think one to five percent for a traditional portfolio right. ends up making sense. But you just made a case for for going from 70 to 140 in 18 days. I mean, that that sounds like things that you hear on TV where you just want to really stay away from. Bitcoin's up 20 percent in the last week. It's up 60 percent in the last month. And know, it's up 200 percent in the last year. I'm not saying it's going to 140,000. What I'm saying is three of the last four times it doubled in 18 days. And with a having upon us, it's just hard to not say this is likely to go much, much higher. And so what I think also we start to pay attention to here is, look, uh, there's three main new buyers that are now going to come into the market. The first is public pension funds, right? We uh, had a fund that was anchored by two public pension funds in Fairfax County. Uh, Catherine Molnar and Andy Speller were the CIOs there. And they're up 12x on their exposure to Bitcoin in that fund. And so when you see that, you say to yourself, wow. wait a second, there's only four funds last year in all of state public pension funds that were fully funded. If they all went and put 1% in Bitcoin, there's a very strong possibility that a number of those funds would get back to fully funded status over the next 10, 15, 20 years. Did you hear that? Both pension funds, by putting only 1% in their Bitcoin portfolio, uh, in Bitcoin, keeping holding 1% of their portfolio in Bitcoin, they, in the next 10, 15, 20 years, will literally be at a clean rate, which means that Bitcoin has worked, guys. Bitcoin has literally worked. Why has it worked? Well, I wonder because it has saved you and I from eroding currencies. Okay, they er when they print, they erode our value of our money, our currency. Okay, paper money, fiat is currency. Bitcoin is real money. Gold and silver are real money. Bitcoin is the digital asset real money. Gold and silver are the physical asset real money. Guys, you cannot get more that real than those examples. On top of that, you've got sovereign wealth funds. We've, they've been very quiet right now. There's now ETF opportunities for them. They don't have to go buy Bitcoin and potentially take the risk of the geopolitical uh, backlash. They can simply go put, get the exposure without actually holding the Bitcoin. If a sovereign wealth fund comes out, especially a major one, and says, we've bought Bitcoin, and it is a material percentage now of our portfolio, I think that there will be a global race between do you countries. Think, do you think gold is up in sympathy with Bitcoin? I mean, I, why is, or, or is there... Inflation. The thirty-four trillion inflation is coming down. Is it thirty-four trillion? Is it the is it the number? Is it the, the amount of debt and how quickly it's growing that has Bitcoin and gold both strong in recent sessions so or in recent go, months? If you go and you look, uh, one of the critiques of Bitcoin was it was a zero interest rate phenomenon, right? Oh, if rates are down, Bitcoin's up. Yeah. If rates go up, Bitcoin comes down. They haven't come down. Well. Rates are up and Bitcoin is back to an all time high. Stocks are up, et cetera. So what's what Bitcoin has become is a index for global liquidity. And although the Fed, the ECB and Japan are actually contracting their. Did you hear that? A global index for liquidity. OK, massive balance sheets. China has been basically given the middle finger to the rest of the global economy. Okay. And they're saying, hey, we're going to ease here. We're going to go and put liquidity into the market. And so Bitcoin. Is so the Fed, the ECB, and um, the the DOJ are all easing. Oh, sorry, um, they all contracting. But China is basically giving them the the middle finger and literally printing. Money. It's a big, big winner. If you believe that the dollar is going to continue to be debased over the coming decade, Bitcoin's going to be a winner. And if you think global liquidity is going to go up, Bitcoin's going to be a winner there too. And we what, what's golds? Market cap is it? That's like trillion or so. Ten to twelve trillion. Yeah. Some people are looking for Bitcoin to be ten percent, fifty percent of the market cap. Do you think it could be a multiple of the market cap of, of gold today? Bitcoin at one point three five trillion. It's bigger than the U.S. high yield bond market. It's bigger than the silver market. But it's a tenth of gold. I, that's and fine. you think if you go it to half to be, of gold, that'd it, be. It used to be one percent of gold. Now it's ten percent. Eventually, it's going to be one hundred percent. Eventually, it's going to go past gold. So so that would be over Bitcoin. a million dollars a coin. Because Bitcoin is a 10x improvement on gold. And if you're a 10x improvement, to be two times the market cap would make sense. Okay. So you're bullish. Very bullish. I'm hitting. All assets. So all assets there. Gold is now sitting at 2137 today. And it's sitting at about a $14.34 trillion market cap. 
Microsoft is at 2.9, Apple is at 2.6, NVIDIA at 2.1, Saudi 2.2, 2, uh, Amazon 1.8, Alphabet 1.6, Silver is at 1.349, Bitcoin is at 1.298. And this is actually a little bit even outdated because Bitcoin is currently sitting at that 1.34 level. So it is probably in eighth position. Um, I'm not sure where this data is coming in from, but Bitcoin is now officially in the top uh, 10 once again, and it continues to boast itself like crazy. There you go, 1.298. Uh, so that's the market cap. That just is what it is today, guys. Now, um, we are going to have a look at some of our Bitcoin charts. So first of all, let's have a look at the total market cap. Um, because the total market cap, as you guys can see, is literally just pumping like crazy. It's going to have a look at the weekly so we can see where the weeklies come from because the weekly total crypto market cap has not yet broken its all time high. The total weekly crypto market caps uh, level is up here and that is at the $3 trillion level. So um, honestly, guys, I think at that point, that's where we could see a bit of a pullback and a retracement and then a and then not even a bad one, guys. I mean, I'm going to show you this on Bitcoin, but look at this. This is literally drawing us a very, 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 very beautiful. What pattern would you call this, guys? I'm sure you guys are going to know about this pattern. So let's get it nicely in here. So there you go. All right. And then I wonder, do we build a little handle? Something like that, you know? That is a cup and handle pattern. Now, guys, we could pull back down to these levels. I mean, that would mean a trillion dollars would literally escape this market. Do I think that's going to happen? No. Um, but, you know, charts, this is where the charts can be a little bit confusing because we literally are just going absolutely parabolic right now. So that's the interesting thing about crypto. And this is now the total three, which is excluding BTC and ETH, guys. We are literally breaking out. We have literally had the most amount of buy volume in today's candle so far, and we haven't even broken up, guys. This thing is going to continue to pump. The same thing is going to unfold. Another cup and handle pattern is going to basically pull here and uh, continue to, to make its way. So I think we get to the all-time high. I think we pump up here to the all-time highs, pull back, kind of capitulate a little bit, and then move forward. So that's what I would say is about to happen and unfold in those markets. This is Bitcoin. Now I'm going to show you a few different Bitcoin charts today because uh, I do want to keep you guys in the loop here. But as you guys can see, we literally broke that all time high, literally right there. It was by $111 odd. So that's pretty decent. You can see here, guys, I need you to know something. I need you to know something, regardless of the investors, um, the institutional investors that are bringing institutional funds into the crypto space. Look at the volume. The volume all along here has literally been <coughs> zero, just about. I mean, the volume profile is on average. Um, yeah, I mean, very, very small. That's the average volume level. Look at how much volume comes in actually when we do get the bull cycles and the bull markets. We have not even really begun the cycle yet. So I think we could punch all the way up to this target. Um, I mean, we've literally defied gravity here. Punch up to this target, the ninety to $100,000 level. Um, and at that point, I think we could see a strong pullback to the 65K level. I don't think we'll ever come back up uh, to 65K, uh, below 65K from that point onwards. So, guys, the cycle is definitely different. So, stay tuned, watch my channel, hit my links down below. Let's make some money together because Bitcoin currently, as you can see, smashed through this resistance level um, and has hit my target. Look at that, how it hit that target, 67K. Look at that bull pennant uh, target, literally, to the T, guys. And that happened over like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen days. Two weeks, guys. Hit my target. So what do you think's about to unfold here? Now, bearing in mind that we do have a bit of hidden bearish divergence with the higher uh, highs on price action. 
um, and there is a bit of higher, there is a bit of starting, a little bit of lower lows action on the RSI. So I'd be a little bit cautious on that step. Um, so make sure to just check those out. But here, as you can see, we broke through the 61, uh, the 618 right down here. Then we smashed through the 786. We literally have right above us the 102,000, 1,2,0, 1,2,0 at 1.618. We then have the 618 up at 154,000, the 3.618 at 200,000, 207,000, and then the 4.618 up at 260,000. Now, guys, I think we could actually explode way beyond all of those. I think my personal target that I'm I'm waiting for is definitely 300,000. I think 300,000 is a good mark, a good level. So that's just my personal view. You can see here the MVRV score is literally only just getting started. Um, and you can see what happens on the MVRV score, okay, when we have these um, these bull cycles. We literally go absolutely ballistic, guys. So we have been in the bull cycle. The MVRV score literally gave us the bottom. There as well gave us the bottom. There as well gave us another bottom. It's been giving us a bottom all along this area here. So if you guys started to invest there, you guys would be well, 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 well wealthy right now. Now, Ethereum is coming up to my target. Could Ethereum also surprise us and continue its breakthrough? It could also, if Bitcoin does, it's as simple as that. Bitcoin is the leader. This is the king. It's going to lead the rest of the cryptocurrency. So it could just break through there uh, up to the all-time high. But that would say, look at how this Dixie is now met resistance. It's been slowly grinding down here. But I think we're ultimately about to see a breakdown of this pattern here. You can see if I have to draw a line up there that we have kind of broke through here at this point. We retested and then now we're pushing down. Plus the indicators are telling us down. Sell volume is not that strong. So I think we could start to see the, the Dixie come back down to this 101 level, which would give Bitcoin another further opportunity. So regardless of what Dixie has been doing, Bitcoin has been pumping, guys. Um, and this is gold. Now, this was the all-time high on gold. So gold actually hasn't broken its all-time high at 21.46. Uh, and it reached up and there was a bit of sell pressure there with um, our indicators telling us that we might be a little bit overheated on the daily time frame. And, um, but that doesn't re really mean anything in the bigger perspective of things because, you know, this is what happened once we had the gold spot ETF launch, right? Um, and the MVRV score wasn't even around then. So this is what happened once we had the Bitcoin, oh, sorry, the, the gold spot ETF. We literally pumped all this way. Now we've had the gold spot ETF. We've had an inverse shoulder, head, and shoulder pattern on gold. Um, and essentially, I would say that that probably brings us right there to that target, which is why I drew that line there, yeah. So that would be our target of about 2,400 is the next target for gold, guys. I don't see why gold couldn't hit it. And gold is very, very undervalued at the moment, guys. I just have to say that gold price has been suppressed for so long, so many years. I mean, I've been investing in gold probably since around this area here. Um, yeah, when 2011, yeah, around 2012-ish, I've been investing in gold, guys. And, you know, honestly, Gold market is heavily manipulated. I mean, at this point, I thought gold was going to continue to rally up, but the fundamentals in the market are very necessary. Now, if I show you something here uh, from Eric Balchunas, you guys are going to have quite a screen because the 10 spot ETFs have blown through the $50 billion in assets, began life seven weeks ago at under 30 billion. About 8 billion of it is uh, from flows, the rest from Bitcoin value going up. Okay. Did you hear that? Bitcoin value going up. The rest of it is from flows, guys. So we haven't even really seen much money come into the Bitcoin market just yet, the ETFs. Milestone, the 10 Bitcoin ETFs did 10 billion in volume just yesterday, smashing previous record last Wednesday. Volatility and volume go hand in hand with ETFs, so not totally surprised. That said, uh, these are the banana numbers for ETFs under two, uh, two months old, okay? Boom, smash through the ceiling. Now, guys, Told you I got stopped out of my XRP trade. So you can see there's no more XRP trade there. Um, but we will look for another trade on my account there. 
as you guys know, on Bitflex, you can only trade certain assets um, on, on the perpetuals. So use my link down below and you can get yourself $88,888 bonus. So, I mean, Ethereum is pumping today, guys. So for me, you guys can see there, those are all the assets. So there's many, but there's not that many. And some of them are just down for the days today, guys. So I would say to you that Bitcoin, and you can see here, I've got a limit of 60,666, which um, I put after this drop happened. So it didn't get into that. I've got one down at 55,000. I've got one um, at 51,111. And I've got one down at 49,911. So even though this is my buy entry down here at uh, kind of 46,666, um, I don't think we're going to get down there, guys. Really, I just I, I just can't see it happening. Um, look at this. Now we actually have on your RSI, we have higher lows um, on the there and then we have higher highs on the price action um which is actually a little bit more bullish um which is hidden bullish divergence so guys i think we really are about to see bitcoin smash through very very hard if we get this candle close like this and one maybe one more candle close here i think next week will be the week that we break through this level i don't know if it's going to happen this week i just i can't see it right now but all i know is that there are plenty of things happening. So my Bitcoin trade is currently up 641%. Um, is only, uh, really, it's a very small trade, guys. It's only $35 in that trade, really. But I have um, maybe about another $300 worth of my levels to put in there. And you ask, okay, well, why didn't I put them all the way down? Well, guys, because I've been taking, you know, I've been getting in and out of trades. Like my trading started like from this level here, where we broke out of this level here. I started my trades there. Took some profits there. I let it ride up a little bit. I got stopped out there and then I added my position back in. So why would I not just continue to add into my position, guys? It just makes no sense not to, especially when I've just told you everything that I've been telling you. And a number of other people believe that Bitcoin is going to literally shoot through to the moon. So if you guys want to make uh, use $30,000 deposit bonus, hit my buy bit link down below and you guys can get that. Now, thanks for being here with me on the channel. I have to run. Many blessings to you all. Subscribe if you are watching this channel and have not yet subscribed. And uh, if you enjoyed the content, make sure to smash the thumbs up. That would be much appreciated. Love you all. You take care and we will see you on the next one.